<laughs> it's already bad in here this morning. It certainly is. Blue screens behind me, too. And, Jamie, are you needing help in the kitchen? It's 51 degrees well, out there. Good morning. Well, it seems like you're saying already bad. It seems like things may get worse on a Wednesday morning. Hey, good morning. I'm Jamie Cooper. Thank you all for getting up with us. This is Athens in the AM on a Wednesday morning edition of Cooper & Company Live right here in the greatest city on earth, Athens, Alabama. Join me on this special edition of Cooper & Company. I'm getting that from the Today Show. They say it every day. Shut up, Huddleston, Seth, and my new traveling companion, Go golf Tigers. pro, Daryl Heavey. What's up, Daryl? How you doing? Me so and Daryl believe that we rode in on the tornado the other day from Rogersville. Yeah, we did. Seth, what's shaking? <laughs> living the dream. Look like you're about to put on an ounce. <laughs> don't tell him that. He'll be in the gym for, for the rest of the day, eight hours in the gym. Yeah, you don't get, ain't get the complex enough, do you? Oh, no, I'm good. I'm trying to actually put on muscle. You're trying to put on what? Muscle. Muscle. Yeah. yeah. I got some of that in the closet. You just put on your arms, you blow up, call floating. All right. Shut up. I ain't swimming. talking about you. <laughs> All right. We got a lot of stuff coming up today. Got some articles. Got some interesting things that happened at home. I'll be quiet. I'll discuss that in a moment. Plus, we're going to sample a hundred year old product this morning. Frisky. You was eating them as a kid. We'll talk about Oreos in just a moment, too. Weather well, going to be picture perfect today. Gloria says she's going to lay out in the sun. Me and Dr. Mallet are like this, so from now on, I'm in the shade the rest of my freaking life. I'm a white boy <laughs> with blue eyes. There ain't no place for sunshine in my life. So right now, let's go find out how warm is it going to be. Today is going to be an absolutely beautiful day. If you can lay out, do so because it's going to be nice. <laughs> I am. I'm taking the afternoon off, and that's my plan. Out by the pool. All right, 51 degrees out there already. You don't even need a jacket when you walk out the door. It feels great. High temperatures today of 69 to 70, maybe even about 72, 73. So we'll take it. 51 for your low. Look at tomorrow, though. Rain, only a 20% chance of showers. So don't let that mess anything up with high temperatures of 74. Friday looks like the day we are going to see rain. Of course, weather brought to you by Lewis. And sons, if you're having some roof issues, give them a give them a call. Been in business for a be very long tomorrow. time. They will be with us tomorrow. Rain on Friday, and then a beautiful Saturday, hopefully. Two three zero four nine eight eight. It's Tony this morning. Seth, what's shaking? Um, like I said, just living the dream. Living the dream. Just waiting to get here. What happened to you, Spike Tear? I. It's just too much work. You put so much work into that, I just cut it all oh, off. Oh, yeah. I took a hint from Roy. I'm putting MSM lotion now in my hair to give it full of body. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it pretty, hey. too. Hey, uh, Daryl and I were over the other day at Rogersville. I mean, Bobby Wallace and Cody Gross. We haven't had time to get to that yet, but on the way back, so, you know, it's start 9 o'clock. Daryl says, is that your tire roaring? I said, no. <laughs> that only lasted, what, 10 seconds it at was the spooky. most? It was spooky. Uh, Mm -hmm. I, I don't care if the wind comes and blows my house like little pig pigs and blows it completely down now. I'm All right, no, let's, talk, oh, oh, let's talk right there, Donnie. I'm not there. Hey, Donnie, what you're just talking about, this is what everybody's talking about this morning. Tornado Masters is a tornado that's been selling shelters over on Highway 53. Since now last they've year. been busted by Luther Strange, the Attorney General. Good. And this front page out of the Huntsville Times, that's out of the News Courier this morning. Madison County judge has ordered Tornado Masters North Alabama to temporarily seize operation after a blistering complaint by the Alabama Attorney General's office. One customer so says his private school has an unsafe tornado shelter are ludicrous. All right, they're charging this guy here. I'm not even going to call his name. But I'm oh, going to tell you, no, 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 no. No, don't do that. And he's been all over the news. This guy is a friggin' crook. I know him personally. I've dealt with him in the past over the last 20 years. He's a con man. He's good at he's it, He's a crook. He's done business good with me. It. He stiffed me for several thousand dollars. Both times I did business with him. So who's the stupid one in there? <laughs> I'm not going to call his name. Hey, can no, I borrow some money from But this me? guy is sure. a crook. Hey, you want to open up a restaurant? He's no. a crook. <laughs> uh, but he's really likable, so it's now. easy to fall they for They may come after me because I said something, but I'm just trying to protect you. Didn't mention no names. You didn't mention any names. Spending money, so good. but the matter. guy is a freaking crook. Freedom of speech. We know him personally. He is I know a crook. him personally. He still owes me four or five thousand dollars. <laughs> Do I owe you anything? He's a crook. Thanks for paying on time, Seth, up front every time. I really hey. appreciate it. What's sad is he sold that kind of... 
Trump said. But he's selling that kind of shelter to a school that his children go yeah. to, and it's bad. The, the guy that's over the school says he don't see anything wrong with the shelter. And he's saying on 48 this morning now, in case a storm comes up, they've condemned it. They can't go anywhere now. Okay, but there's nothing well, wrong with it. It's he paid, paid $80,000 for a condemned shelter. For that. That's like sending somebody out to do a structural damage in my house who's not even a structural Said, uh, PE. The state's Come complaint on. cited the school Small. shelter built in 09 for 80000 that was unsafe, unlicensed, and thoroughly inadequate. No lights, flammable egg phoning, crating along the walls, little or no ventilation, and dangerous in-swing doors that are hazardous in a panic situation. But Not to mention the other ones that he sold to everybody. Uh, if yeah. I know for a personal fact that somebody is doing people wrong, I'm going to tell you. And this guy is a crook. <laughs> A full-fledged con man crook. Is that guy a crook? Yeah, he is. <laughs> Might as well get that. Sure. But you know, he's a likable guy. <laughs> That's how people fall. He's a likable con well, man. So is Satan. I gotta know his name because I talked to a likable guy yesterday at my house, going through my house, and I, I'm getting three beds. Well, you folks know Donnie's house got hit. And then I'm comparing it against the insurance All right. adjusted. Let me go on and talk about some other subjects. Y'all know about the rape trial last weekend to where the 58-year-old guy was convicted of raping his 14-year-old granddaughter because she had taken a cell phone photograph of him holding his thing and they blew it up this big in front of the jury. <laughs> well, I'm not kidding. That's what happened. <laughs> Gary Clem, who represented him, was on the Jenna show last Friday. <laughs> well, now, in the paper today, the news courier, his mother, who is 75, is disputing her daughter's testimony, who is his sister, who testified against him that he raped her when she was a kid. The mother of the man convicted of raping his granddaughter believes she should have been allowed to testify in the case. Miss Nichols, the 75-year-old mother of Austin Nichols, Jr., disputes her daughter's claim that her brother molested and raped her when she was six or seven in Chicago. Now, she says, because of her daughter's testimony, it's caused her, the 75-year-old grandma, to lose her job as a home health care worker. Y'all keep note with me. If someone brands your son a rapist, people are not going to let you work for them. Why is she blaming the daughter? She says that the daughter never discussed it with her. The daughter lives with her. Now she's throwing the daughter out of the house, who the daughter is dating a child molester herself. Y'all with me? There's a cycle. Oh There's a cycle. Huh? <laughs> Y'all with me? She does not believe her daughter's testimony. She lied. Everything she says is a lie. I work days. My husband worked nights. My mom watched the children because she lived with us. She says she was going to testify but was given a sedative and was unable to be, to be there when Judge Woodruff called for her. What kind of oh sedative was it? Jack, Are you Jack Daniels? <laughs> was it Jack Daniels sedative? <laughs> and said the daughter had a drug problem. It sounds like the whole well, family She admitted during questioning by Defense Secretary Gary Clem that her boyfriend is a convicted sex offender. He was convicted of second degree rape for having sex with a 15 year old when he was 25. So she basically. They do plan to appeal. Now, does that mean that only that one daughter? Y'all with me on all this? That's dysfunctional. Huh? Highly dysfunctional. Well, first of all, I can see why she's a drug head because she had to put up with all that. Mm. You know, that'll make so, you do anything. Sometimes there is a reason. But man. Yeah, there's some oh. anger issues for a reason. There's anger issues for a reason out there sometimes. Right. You're right. But now I want to get to our main story this morning. Me? No. Oh. <laughs> I want to go to this recipe. Nice it's uh, me. This is a recipe in Huntsville this morning. Honey crisp oven fried chicken. Oh, you're going Now, what there. makes me sick about this? I, I, don't, I, would, love, not cook I would love to try this recipe. <laughs> However, it says preheat oven to 350 degrees. Oh, hush. Spray a baking sheet with cooking spray. <laughs> Apparently, you but did it's, something. Well, what's the most important thing about this, Daryl? Your oven. Yeah. You've got to preheat it. I have cooking 101 on my food. <laughs> <laughs> they, they don't I have a Where's Joe Jacker at? Wait a minute. All right. I need it. Let me tell y'all what my problem is. Let me tell you what your problem is. <laughs> yesterday, <laughs> yesterday at home, Lori says, I'm going to self. Somebody, who mentioned that? You mentioned, Donnie self mentioned clean self clean our oven. oven. I said, I need to do that. Self clean our oven. Yeah. you got to cook in it for yourself. Clean it. Self clean it. Well, oven. I know, but it had Here's a good. shot of our oven. Thanks. I took this yesterday with my cell phone. That's our oven. Gloria does the thing. Double on. oven. We can't get it open. I lock no, it in no, the lock. No, no, no. It locks in the. It locks when you do the self clean. Yeah, well, it's not cleaning anymore. Well, and I can't. Okay. You gotta pull the thing. You gotta, you gotta, pull, the you gotta pull the little lock back. Hold on. Here's that was the problem. Airhead moment, wasn't Here's it? the problem. We can't get our oven open. Well, it's not a problem. Yeah, it is a problem. When's the last time you used it? Well, I don't. <laughs> Here's the problem. So, 
In a situation like we're in. My Weary, gift is in there. I'm working here. Your gift is in there when it was cleaning? It's no longer available, I Who promise you. Who do you, you call when you can't get your oven door open? Your neighbor. Bobby Terry Company. You call the locksmith? Do I call James down at Athens Locksmith to come out and open the oven? Do we really need it? Do I call the fire department? Do they come over and just call your neighbor? Open the oven? Not your neighbor, just call us. Do I call Bobby Terry Company, who we have on speed dial, to <laughs> open the oven? Or do we get the jaws of life out and have them come over and open the oven? Very funny. My wife. We don't need the oven. My current you wife. You sound like Leanne. Your current wife. <laughs> got is a cook. Our oven stuck. We can't open it, Sam. I can't open the oven. Hey, I had the same problem whenever I did the you self just cleaning. You the door off. Well, no, I had the <laughs> self cleaning mechanism, and what happened is the whole oven quit working. And then I called the guys, and I was like, hey, y'all, uh, my oven's not working after I did the self cleaning thing. And they were like, oh, yeah, that happens all the time. It heats up so hot, it melts the inside uh, wiring thing. Then why do you make it? <laughs> well, then why do you self clean it? You <laughs> First of all, why are we self cleaning? We ain't even used it in the fact that we That's what I was wanting to know. Why? My next house isn't even going to have a kitchen, so there. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Why were you self cleaning? Because it had a little stuff on the glass. It's I got it dust on it from no use. <laughs> well, hey, it's easy to, to unlock. I'll come over there and unlock it. I'll come over there and unlock it for you. It'll be this easy. You don't have to lock it? Yeah, I can get it unlocked for you. It's not a problem. Well, don't worry about this after night. Well, my handyman can do it. Good, good tornado will take care of that. Yeah. <laughs> Just wait till the next right. storms come up. Let me move on to the next subject here. 81-year-old woman with six sixth largest ever jackpot. Where does she live at? Is she married? Louise White celebrated her own Super Tuesday, $210 million after taxes. She won $336 million. She's 81 years old. How much did the government steal from she her? She got $210 million. The government got to pay taxes, Seth. They took $100 million. That's not stealing, <laughs> Seth, because they keep it. Then they, then they give people. you back like $100, and you think, oh, I got money back from them. But they, 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 they don't realize she how bought, much they kept. God don't ask she bought, she bought a $2 ticket right. on a run to a Newport Good stop and shop her. for Rainbow Sherbert just hours before the Saturday night drawing, Daryl. Look at that. The odds of winning are one in 175 million. Wow. Once she found out that she had won, she took the she ticket died. and put it in her Bible and slept with it. And then they went on and later, but you know, that's well, a lot of good. Well, she her. got enough to last her for a while. And <laughs> last week, she won $80 in a scratch off game. Good for her. Sounds lucky. No doubt. Miranda needs to go buy a nice. ticket. Look, hey, she was. Vegas. All right. Hey, can I have some of those? Yes, you can. No, Seth said I cannot eat. Can you soda or, or that? <laughs> Oreo cookie <laughs> yesterday is <laughs> staying fresh at 100 years old. Last, If you think junk food is a modern invention, you're wrong. Oreo yesterday celebrated its 100th birthday. Mm -hmm. Turns out they were far more unsinkable than one of their contemporaries that started in 1912, no, the Titanic. Well, it's I'm something called the Oreo sandwich, the Oreo cream sandwich, or Oreo. What's the last Or the double Oreo. stuff. Yeah. The number one thing people want to know about Oreos. How do you eat an Oreo? I'll tell you how I eat mine. Like oh, I don't this. want none of that, man. Here, do you want some? No, thanks. Hmm. Yeah. I know Seth. Don't <laughs> want Come on. It's all in your teeth. If you don't eat the cream out first, you ain't eating it the regular old fashioned way. See, I'll eat the top part and then I'll eat the cream and uh, then I'll eat the bottom. Well, if you eat the cream out first, then you don't want the rest. Hmm. <laughs> I'm you know? <laughs> surprised Brad ain't saying something. Quit, don't do that. Coleman Dental will be with us Friday. Stop. Where's your milk? Do you know how many things there are that I cannot pronounce in this? There's <laughs> a lot. All right, all right, Seth, all right. I, I knew that was hey, hey. I'm my morning. Look, I'm look, look, I was oh, in his store yesterday. Else. 14 grams of sugar. I bet, um, I bet I that was 15. Oh, yeah, that's excellent. That's like 14 teaspoons. <laughs> That's awesome right there. <laughs> oh, gosh. Hey, get, a, get a close up on his teeth. No, don't. Yeah, get a close up on his teeth. All right, it's time to start the country <laughs> rover again. <man. laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Look at that I'm face. I'm not smiling. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Stop it. That's gross. Seth, looking. this is a good commercial you need to put in your store. This is what not to do. <laughs> you know, we had a crowd there yesterday. We had about 100 people in that place. Yeah, I was trying to get his, trying to get at least five minutes of his time, but every time he turned around, he was... Man, those people coming out that diet of the light, they're buying it up by the groves. Really? Was that many people in there yesterday? There was a lot of people. I know, I'm oil? serious as a heart attack. There was a lot of people in there. Here's our mm. Here's serious as a tornado. We are blessed.
to say the least. That great advertising campaign you got going on TV. It is a Sex Cooper is. show. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to be talking about today? <laughs> uh, well, we're going to talk about Dieter's Delight. We just introduced the one month supply, which everybody's been begging me for. Um, so we've got that now. So, and I'm going to talk about how it actually ignites the metabolism to help you burn off the Oreos. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that going to eat the whole pack? <laughs> you know, you have good, to. That's, yeah. called, that's called liposuction. Yeah. Don't you get rid of that. <laughs> but that's why you're in business because people eat Oreos. <laughs> exactly. That's part I mean, look of at Daryl. He needs oh, to be oh, no. oh, I knew that was coming. That's why I'm holding right here. <laughs> I need his help. He's in business because he's got all those vitamins. And if you're not going to go in the sun, you better get that D3. You better start taking D3. Right, Am Dr. I not Donnie. right? Huh? Yeah, well, your son's going to create your uh, vitamin D. But he's not going in the sun oh, no more. You're not he's got to stay out of the sun. He's going to be a vampire. D because it helps to prevent. Now, I didn't swim naked in the pool. Hey, are you a Dracula? Are you a vampire or something? You blood. Well, see, you take the daughter's light, so you actually look good swimming naked in the pool. <laughs> oh Lord, I don't want to see him without any clothes. Can we see you? Yeah, and I don't no, look good without clothes. On. I look good with clothes right, on. Watch the Cooper Company on a Wednesday morning. We got a lot of video. I'm gonna go to the Bean Day and Ardmore here in just a little bit after the news, and we're gonna go back Gloria in bed with Roy's story from Story and Lee at the Home Garden Show. Vibrating bed. Plus we got other video coming up too. We'll have all that coming up. There are you want to be so talky when you're up here in the morning. Sorry, right, man. Eat I like that shirt. Man. Wait a minute, how come he gets paid? How come we don't get paid? Right now, we gotta take a break. We'll be right back. Y'all hang on. He's worth it. <laughs>